Hello guys, in this video we will look how to replace the constructor argument uh, once we use the di xml file. Now let's go ahead and start that. So basically I've just created this uh, module to uh, have this controller with displaying the content in here. Now let's try and see how to replace constructor arguments in action. The things I'm creating is a module and it has a controller and it has a view file with the layout xml file and then the phtml file. Let's create a model. Now the model I create will be model default name namespace training replace constructor arguments model class default name now this default name will bring me the public function get name or return a string turn training replace constructor argument or arguments now this is a just a model and this just returned one name as a string with this value now I want to inject this into a view model so let's create a view model view model I'll call it example then declare namespace training replace constructor arguments view model class example implements argument interface the argument interface should comes from magento so we just import class now we will have a constructor then we will have a default name default name initialize file and then I'll create a method called get name and return a string and this will return the default name now this is the view model and this is the model the model is injected inside the view model as in the constructor we will go we will be going to replace this uh, in a bit now we need to inject the view model into the uh, block so we will go to the view and then front end layout and then we'll go replace constructor arguments index index.xml file I will just have a closing tag for the block and we will use arguments and the arguments will be view model this will be object type so the type is object and then the value or the text will be the full name of the class of the view model class now we have done that we can go to the template and then we just have a p tag and have a block get view model get name and this will output the name which is this get name comes from the view model the view model will call the default name get name which is this one now if i clear cache cache flush layout and block HTML. I also need to disable full page. PHP FPN Magento cache disable full page. Now if I refresh, so this is what I get training replace constructor argument. So this is the name comes from the model class. Now I want to this when I inject the default name into the view model I want to replace the default name with another class but this class should be at the same type of the default name so what I'm going to do is I will create a new class here or new model I will call it upper uppercase name and this basically will so training replace constructor arguments Model. so this basically will extend from the default name so create it as class uppercase and then extends default name and the get name will be uppercase to do this we will call the parent and then we will wrap it with str to upper this will convert the string into uppercase this will do nothing as of yet because this is just a class and is not used anywhere now how are we going to replace the default name with the uppercase name this is easily done by the di compile file so I will create a di.xml and then just have here and what we have is the type the type is a view model so I will just copy this then place it in the type now in the arguments we have a default name the default name is object 
and instead of having the default name I will put the uppercase name instead so I will just copy this one and paste it here so we are telling Magento instead of having the default name being injected into the view model we want the uppercase name class to be injected instead and this will work perfectly fine because the uppercase name is of type default name now if we clear cache bin Magento conf cache flush config block HTML we clear cache config because we changed in the configuration before then we was we was clearing the cache of the layout because we were changing things in the layout now if we refresh now you can see these are converted into a uppercase words and this is because we instructed Magento to replace the default name with uppercase using the type and this is how we replace the constructor arguments with different classes by using inheritance and also inheritance or the same type by using the same type this view model is being injected with the default name and now we replaced it with the uppercase name if you find this video helpful, please subscribe and I see you in next video.